Hello everyone, welcome back to this second episode on Alma map. Uh, the first job in this episode will be raking the alfalfa hay because we have to continue where we left off the in the other uh, in the first episode. So I'm going to take this tractor with the rake and uh, start doing the hedges. I wonder if I will be able to uh, set a worker to do the raking for me and uh, me to start uh, the baling process but uh, I don't know, we'll have to see because last time I tried putting a worker to do the tedding on this field and it said uh, a error message popped and said that uh, the field was not recognized so I don't know why that happened if it does the same thing this time I think uh, I need to repurpose this field I mean I, I'm going to plow it even though I know alfalfa it's uh, like grass and it uh, it regrows I'm I'm going to plow it in and uh, re-drill it with alfalfa and if that doesn't solve the problem then probably it's not about the field it's about the crop and uh, I will replace the, the alfalfa with grass because uh, when it comes to feeding the animals I don't think there's a difference between the two crops or even some other uh, crops for the animals like clover that we don't have on this map but uh, on other map that we do and I don't think there's a difference you just need to feed them the ra right type of uh, of feed for them and that's about it doesn't matter if it's alfalfa, if it's grass, if it's clover or anything else for that matter Uh, after I do the baling, I think it will go dark before I finish, but it's not a problem, we'll do some work in the in the dark if needed. And I think after uh, we finish the baling, I'm going to end this day, I mean I'm going to rest, and then uh, we can move on to September, and uh, in September we can start collecting the bales, maybe get the sheep, uh, see if the corn will be ready to harvest, I don't know, I, I haven't checked the crop calendar actually, so I don't know if it will be ready to harvest, I hope so. Uh, so we are going to move the bales, I haven't decided yet if we should keep or sell the straw bales, uh, I'm thinking about keeping them for now, because I, in the long run I want to also get cows and we are going to need the straw for bedding and for totally mixed ratio but we will we will see if we desperately need the money then okay no problem we, we are going to sell it otherwise uh, we will keep it and uh, use it for the for the cows now is the moment of truth let's see if we can hire a worker so yeah, apparently now it works, I could hire a worker, now it's on a worker, I'll actually get off the the tractor, I don't know what happened last time and why uh, it didn't want it to TED, or let me hire a worker to TED, but uh, yeah, I'm glad that it, uh, it worked now and the worker can do the raking and I'm going to take the big John Deere, this I think 6R it's called and uh, take the baler and start start baling and I will start with the alfalfa because if it gets too dark and uh, I will not be able to see or something happens the straw can be also baled the next month in game, the next day uh, I will need to open this menu for a bit yeah, and set the bales to the maximum capacity, that means 150 centimeter bales. And let's move to the field and uh, start baling this hay. I'm going to start a time lapse as well. 
and uh, I'll see you when I think all the bailing is done or at least if I decide to move to the next day I'll see you when I decide to move to the to the next day
Okay, everyone. So the alfalfa hay is almost baled, but uh, for this corner over here, I don't know why the AI worker got confused and uh, it stopped. So I need to take over and uh, finish the the raking of the hay. Uh, as you saw, we made a lot of bales. I mean. Uh, we made 46 bales so far, so this field, even though looking at the map, it looks small, it's not small at all. So, because this is taking a lot of time and I don't want you guys to just see me bale for, for an entire episode, that's not fun. Uh, I decided that I'm going to finish bailing this corner and also bail the straw off camera and I'm going to see you guys back here uh, in September in the morning and we can see about uh, starting to move the bales good morning everyone for me it was a busy night uh, but I managed to bail all the remaining uh, hay, that corner that we were left with, and all the straw. And now in total we have 90 bales, so we should have around 50 bales of hay and the rest will be straw. Like I said, for now we will keep uh, the straw and if we get desperate for money uh, I'll just sell it now we need to go to the shop because we need to buy a trailer to move the bales and because we have a lot of them like I said we have 90 bales to move uh, I'm going to sell this tractor I think this is a 4755 we actually right now don't need three tractors on the farm and we are going to purchase an auto stacker for uh, round bales and also uh, I'm thinking about getting a telehandler because we, we are going to need it for moving uh, first of all bales around if we get uh, animals it doesn't matter what type of animals and also because we are going to need it to move the pallets if we get uh, sheep they will produce wool pallets and we are going to need to something to to move the wool so i'm thinking about telehandler but let's go sell this tractor first and see how much money we we get by the auto stacker and then we can uh, decide if we get a telehandler now or we wait until we sell the crops and maybe make some money. I don't think the corn is ready to harvest. Let's take a look. No. It should be ready to harvest in October. But the other thing I noticed uh, is that we will need to repurpose both the fields that we worked on until now. This one because we harvested it and we need to put something in the ground for next year that will probably probably be rye and we also need to repurpose this I know alfalfa regrows but if we take a look here it says that both of our fields need plowing so plowing gives us I don't remember exactly the percentage but it should be around 10 to 15 percent yield increase and I want to the best yield possible for the for the fields so I'm going to plow them and I don't want to put alfalfa again in the ground. And uh, I also have a reason for that. If we look at the crop calendar, we are playing with seasons. And alfalfa can be harvested from May until October. Uh, and if we also look at grass, grass can be harvested all year long. So from this point of view, it's better to have grass in the field because we also can have harvested uh, Maybe in the winter, December, January, February time, when we don't have anything else to do, we can do some grass work then. So I'm going to repurpose the alfalfa field 
and uh, put grass in it. And uh, on the, the field we harvested, I think I'm going to put, I, I want also to put peas in the ground, but peas can be seeded in April, can be drilled in April, so until April I cannot do anything. And also we have the corn there, and the corn will be ready next month. Uh, and the rye could be drilled in September and October. And I don't want to wait until October to uh, to drill it, because in October we will have to harvest the corn and it will be a very big job. And I don't think we have enough time to uh, plow that field also, because it says it needs plowing and to repurpose it. So I'm going to put rye in the field that we harvested already. So here we are, we are right at the shop, let's see how much we can get for this, yeah, repair it for one dollar, we get 95,000, it's not bad, we are at 160, so now let's go to the shop and get the auto stacker, uh, let's check in the sale, I don't expect it to be here, but okay, no we don't have it, so let's get the auto stacker first. Uh, I think this one, yes, this one is for round bell, this one is for square, it's 50,500. I'm not going to put number plates on it, so let's just buy that. And we have 110,000, let's have a look to see if we can afford a telehandler. This one is an articulated one, and I don't want that. Uh, we had we have this Pharisee at 72k. We have we have this money to at 75. This is a 4.9 ton. This is a 4.8 ton, and we have for 98 for 98 this this one, which are the big ones, but expensive. So we can get this maybe or the money to one of them. It's 3,000 euros the price difference or we can the wheel loader should be expensive yes uh, or we can get a front loader maybe this uh, Torion over here which is 64,000 uh, and I'm, I'm seriously considering this because this one is a 5.7 ton and the telehandlers, the small ones are 4.8, 4.9, so, so we should be able to lift a little bit more load with uh, with this front loader over here. Uh, I don't know, it should have a trail hitch also. Uh, we don't need front twin wheels, let's just get it as it is without a number plate, yeah let's get this one, we are going to buy it, let's also buy uh, some implements for it, let's get this bale spike and also some pallet forks. I think it's everything that we need. Uh, the the equipment, if I remember, should spawn in the back of the building. Yes, they are here. Uh, let's see if we can put the uh, pallet forks on the trailer and get them to the farm like that. I know it's not a standard loading trailer, but uh, I think it will do okay if we put the pallet forks on it we just have to drive carefully i'm not going to put them right at the back i'm going to put them a little bit in front here so yeah let's put put it there i know we don't have straps but they should stay there while we travel to the farm we put this bale spike in the front and let's see if we can attach to this. Uh, I know we should have a 
trail hitch. Yes, we can attach. Perfect. So we can get all of our uh, equipment to the farm if, if we look at this uh, tra trailer compared to the to the front loader. It's humongous. But uh, I think empty it should be able to to pull it back to the to the farm i'm going to jump cut this and i will see you back at the at the farm and uh, we can start the bale collecting from uh, from our fields we are back it was not the fastest trip in the world because uh, this small front loader even though it's great for moving stuff around the farm it's not the fastest equipment out there and uh, now let's get the pallet forks off and then we can uh, get the John Deere and start collecting the the bales it will take some time after we collect the bales we'll see if we have enough time to do something else if not probably I'm going to end the episode here but we'll have to see I'm thinking maybe I have also time to get some sheep, a few I don't know exactly how many we don't have a lot of money and uh, we also need to purchase some more equipment uh, here I'm thinking about the plow uh, a roller uh, fertilizing equipment and spraying because I don't see any in here so we have a lot of things to buy uh, but right now let's go get the bales uh, probably for the some of the equipment we will we'll have to get a loan how much it will be how big it will be that loan we are going to have to see uh, but right now I'm going to time lapse this so it will be faster and I will see you when all the bales are collected.
All the bales guys are now collected and uh, after we unload this last uh, bale trailer uh, I think I'm going to end the episode here even if it will be a shorter episode it, for me it doesn't seem to be a shorter episode but uh, taking into consideration the amount of jump cutting uh, I did in this episode and I'm thinking here about the straw baling especially uh, it will probably be uh, a shorter episode uh, so we got a lot of bales I mean a lot of bales. Uh, I will end this episode here. I hope you are enjoying this series. Next time we will go to the store and purchase what we need to start uh, redrilling those two fields. I mean we need the lime spreader and to buy some lime. We need the plow. Uh, we have a drill but we need seed and fertilizer so we have a lot of things to buy we don't have enough money so probably next time we will have to lease uh, some money uh, to borrow some money from the bank not least I, I hope you are enjoying this series if you want me to do something else or uh, do things in a different way you can leave me a comment if you like the series you can give me a like if you want to watch more of my videos subscribe to the channel and uh, in the end, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.